The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Fowers Games. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And today we are playing Paperback. Mm -hmm. This is a game by Tim Fowers. Yep. Yeah, uh, this is a, kind of a Scrabble deck builder game. Mm -hmm. Because what you're going to be doing is you're going to uh, have a hand of cards. And you're going to have letters on those cards. And you're try to try spell to words. words. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's two letter word or two letter cards. Yeah. Uh, there's single it's use cards. Attack cards. Yes. It's, so that's kind of right up your alley because yeah. you like to play <laughs> attack cards. I do. So this is really a, a very unique game. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to spoil anything else, so why don't you just watch our video? <laughs> For setup, you'll notice we have a row of cards here, and basically novels, or what they call, uh, what do they call those? They call those fame. fame cards across the top, and that's how we're gonna score points. You'll notice on the fame cards, this one scores four fame, seven, 10, and 15. And to buy the cards, we have to play cards out of our hand that generate uh, basically money cents if you will and you'll notice at the bottom of these cards you'll see their different costs they range from two down to here all the way up to eight nine and ten at the end now for setup what we do is we take the top card and we make a second row so that we always have two cards from that uh, set that we can purchase now the cards have different abilities some actually attack your other players and say let them not draw as many cards you know, into their hand, uh, or they can only buy one card, mm -hmm. you know, that sort of thing. Others may allow you to draw another card. So you, instead of having your normal five cards in your hand, which is what you'll start off with, uh, you might be able to draw six cards. So Megan, you want to show them our starting hand of cards? Okay. So you'll get five of these um, author cards, and they're just kind of wild. They're worth one fame point, and you can use them as whatever letter you want. But they don't generate any money. No. So as you can see here, then you have like your um, Wheel of Fortune letters. So you have the R, S, L, and T, and they generate um, one cent. Yep. Can see. yep. And we also have uh, a common card that we can use in order to uh, build our words. So how and, do we build words? Oh. Well, okay. So let's talk about that. So on your turn, you're going to have probably five cards, depending. Uh, most of the time, you'll have five. And just like any other deck builder, you'll play all five of your cards and try to generate uh, or spell a word out. So in this case, yeah, I'll put it like that. Megan would spell lint, as in belly button lint. Ew, wasn't going with that. No, you weren't. Laundry lint. Well, I always think of belly button lint. Okay. You know. Uh, so in this case, she would have uh, four points or four sense that she would generate that she'd be able to buy uh, cards here. She could either buy one of those four point cards, she could buy a three point card, or she could buy two of the two point cards. Now I will point out that the two cent cards here, uh, they all say trash after use. So they're a one time thing, but they do generate uh, two cents worth. So yeah. that's not bad. And I think they are all vowels. So yeah. yeah, so it, it's a good way to kind of you get those early on to, to get some of the other cards that generate more money because mm -hmm. as you'll notice, like this G here generates three cents. The B does three. F is four and the K is four. And these are five. The, yeah, the J is up to five, so that's really good. So after you play your word, you play all your cards, uh, you've done your buy, and then those go into your discard pile. You draw back up to five, unless you had one of the cards that allow you to draw more. And then the next player goes. So what do we do to trigger end of game? End of game is triggered when two of the fame piles are empty. Mm -hmm. Now the setup has, uh, for the four and the seven fame point cards, you have four of each of those. You have two of the 10 points and you have one of the 15. Now that's for a two player game. Now the game plays up to four players, but you'll notice in the rule book here that it shows you how many cards uh, you put in each one of those piles depending on the players. Actually the game plays five. So we've put those other ones in a box, but all the rest of the cards come out. Now, the common letter, you'll notice it says seven letters. If you are able to play a, car, or play a word that is seven letters, you'll actually get to take this, and that's gonna be worth five fame points at the end. Then 
this will go into your deck and you'll reveal the next card. You'll notice that now you need eight, an eight letter word in order to take that. And then it goes down nine and 10. The other way the game ends is if somebody takes that last card. So two ways to end the game, and then you add up the fame points and that determines who the winner is. Okay, so let's shuffle up and play. Okay, the rules actually say the person who last read a novel gets to go first. Megan's a college student yes. who is taking honors English classes yeah. and constantly has to read novels. Mm -hmm. So well, I guess that means... Super depressing Victorian Megan, novels. Megan will get to go first. Yeah. You know, I, I always think that these games are rigged against uh, dear old dad <laughs> because it seems like Megan always is the one I mean, who goes first. you could read a book too. That's okay. Well, I could read a book. I just don't have time because I'm playing all these games. <laughs> I don't have time either because i got to read all these other ones that aren't for yeah, you're constantly enjoyment. Reading. They're just for homework. Okay, Megan, so I'll let you go first. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to place our letter, our words down here so you can see how that common letter is coming into mm -hmm. play because you can only use that common letter one time during your word. Yep, so I'm going to use sir and that will be my word so that generates one, two, three cents and I think I'm going to go ahead and take, and that's a four, so I'll take the ES there. Yep. So then the letters go into Megan's discard pile as well as the card that she just bought. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there is something with the attack cards, and we'll talk about that when that comes up. So let's see what my cards are here. Well, I got a handful of junk. Um, so I am going to play T I L and a wild card as an E. So tile. Mm. So I am only going to be generating three points. Um, let's see. I think I'll take this I N. And so now this card will come down, okay. and these all go, as well as all the cards that I did not use in my hand, mm -hmm. go into my discard pile. Um, and then I'll draw five cards back up. Is it cheating if you play the same word after the first one? Because I have the same deck of cards. No, it's not cheating at all. <laughs> but I'll make mine plural. So tiles. I'll, I'll make it tiles. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I mean, I still only get three cents. Yeah. Um, we'll take an A, actually. And then I'll just fizzle that extra penny. Okay. And what I find is really helpful, I just kind of throw my cards yeah, down on the you, table. If you can't figure out what you're going to do, yeah. you might as well. And you so. might have some suggestions if your opponents are nice. Yeah, I'm going to go... Here, I'll even make mine plural so I can use all my letters. Now, there are some times you're going to want to use all your letters because Megan has a nasty habit of attacking me. Yeah. And for like every card that I don't play or every wild card mm -hmm. that I don't use I have to I lose a, a cent or if I use wild cards I u I lose cents so I'm gonna go with sirens so that is one two three four points uh, are you playing that as sirens as like ambulance sirens or yeah. sirens as the killer mermaids no not the killer mermaids no. I like mermaids yeah well, they'll kill you too you know in, in the uh, last Pirates of the Caribbean movie on Stranger Tides we had mermaids yep some of them weren't nice uh, you know, I am going to go with that D. And bring the U down there and put those in my discard. Let's do R-I-T-E, right. Like a rite of passage. Yeah. So I'll, that gives me three cents. Um, I'll take the A in. Okay, let's see what I got here. S I N N E Singer? R Center. Center. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Bad people. Not using the common letter, huh? No. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you can get it up to here. You know, I got the I N, so I think I want to get that G. Okay. Can I go with it? All right. Um. L I. Yes, lies. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Fleetwood Mac. Oh, I kind of like that song, but not that rendition that you just did. Um, four cents. Let's see. I think I'll take a NT. Well, I have a horrible hand. I have four wild and an L. Well, there you go. You can make whatever word you want. Here, you just have let's, to be creative. Let's just go. 
What? W I L L. Will. Will. Yeah. I thought you were going to do our PBS station. Well, you have, you have right, you know, like last rights. Mm. So I'm only going to generate two. Uh, so I think I'll just take this I. Not the greatest thing, but. Okay. Let's just do a cyan. So I'll give me three cents. Um, I'll take the T. I'll go T I N D. E R, Tinder, as in like a Tinder box, and not the swipe right or swipe left or whatever that swiping app is. Swiping app. Swiper, no swipey. Oh, God. Uh, one, two, in that door of the Explorer. Yes. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm gonna take the E D there. Um, really and it says I may trash two available non-fame cards from the offer. Uh, hmm. Do I really want to trash anything? I don't think so. No. Let's do T I R E S. Tires. Tires. Oh, that's pretty good. It's one, two, three, four, five. I'll take a fame card. Yeah. Now, the, the good thing about the fame cards is they are wild cards. Yep. The bad thing about fame cards is they kind of clog your deck a little bit. Well, but you, you know, you've got to have those basically to win the game. Yeah. So I am going to go. G R I L. There's the girl. That's a song from Heart. I don't know that one. So, three, four, five, six. Um, Gain a card cost up to four. You know, I kind of like this F. Uh, it generates four cents, and fame cards cost minus one this turn. So, that's actually kind of cool. So I kind of like that. So I'll bring that C down. Okay. Um, and you'll notice that the letters, see, I just bought an F that has a different thing on there. So not yeah. all the letters have the exact same thing. Do rails. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five. I'll just take another one of those. Yeah, and you and got to trash the A out the of the a. game. I'm not going to use the common card. I'm going to go with nines. N I N E S. Yeah. So, yep. So that's going to give me four point or four money. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go with the A R, I think. Um, let's just do S I T. Sit. That's. Three. Um, I think I'll take an L for two. That'll be it. Well, can't really do a lot, so I'm just gonna go with Fig. Okay. You know, like Fig Newton. Yeah. Or, as my friend, Mr. Fox, was talking about during Easter, was that when Jesus curses the fig tree. Have you ever heard that story? No. I hadn't heard that story either. I don't know why, but all I could think of was Samuel Jackson just going off on this fig tree. Okay. In the way Samuel Jackson would. Alright. You know? I guess that would not be for a family show. No, it's not. <laughs> so that is gonna be eight uh points for me. And because of the wow. F, it says fame cards cost minus one this turn. Mm -hmm. So I could actually get exactly. this one here, yeah. even though I do have eight. Um so I guess the F doesn't come into play. Not really. But the G does, because the G says, look at your next five cards, discard them, or put them back. So I am going to look at the next five cards, one, two, three, four, five, and decide if I want to shuffle these through. You know what? I do. I'm going to discard all those. Okay. So I'll get rid of these, and I will shuffle my deck. All right. I'm going to go T-I-N-T, Tint. And that T says you may trash a card from your hand, and if you do, you gain one cent. Um, I don't think I really want to do that, but I have... Don't have any uh, common cards to get rid of? No. So I've got one, two, five cents. I'm just going to go ahead and take another one of those fame cards. I will use that, and I'm going to go D-I-N-E-R. 
E R S diners. Like what's that guy for Eddie? Diners, drive-ins, and dives. Yeah. So that's going to be two, three, four, five, six. I think I'll take that C. Okay. So I can't believe we haven't played a seven letter card yet. Yeah, sometimes hard though. Because when you play the double cards, maybe that's it, maybe we haven't taken enough double cards. Maybe. When you play the double cards, they count as letters. So yeah. uh, you get a couple of those on there and it's easy to get that card then. Let's do L-I-E-S, lies, and that gets me three cents. Um, I'll just take another O, I kind of like having vowels. So let's go with uh, some baseball here. Let's go inning. I-N-N-I-N-G. So okay. that's two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six letters. I'm only going to get three money. I'm going to take that A-T. Okay. You know, I think either one of us has had cards that allow us to add a, draw an Not additional card. We usually always have that. Okay, um, I think I'm going to do, let's do B-O-R-I-N-G, boring. Boring. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, only six letters, but yeah. you're using the common, so. so. Two, three, four, five, and I'll just go ahead and take that last fame card. I got to trash that O, and that's it. Okay, well, that was pretty well played. Lied. Lied. It's not the greatest, but... Two, five, five cents. Five cents. Five cents, please. Oh, I'll take this M, because that does give me an extra card. Yeah. Just in case. Let's do T-A-I-N-T. -T. Taint. Tainted love. Yeah. Which Doctor Who episode was that? Was it 11th hour? No, it was... Oh Wasn't gosh. that the one with the, or was that the wedding? No, it's with Rose in nine. It's when they're on the space station with Cassandra. Uh oh, moisturize me. But I can't think. I think it's end the end of the world. the world. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm like. For some reason, I was thinking it was part of the when he was doing the dancing draft. That's Queen. Yeah, I know that. But... Crazy little thing called love. Crazy little thing. Um, so this that... might be the musical edition. We've had more <laughs> song references. Um, one, two, three cents. Um, don't want to trash anything. I don't know. Let's take the O in, I guess. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Bring this one there down. We go. Okay. I have gift. Are you giving me one? Every day you have with me as your father is a gift. Do you have the receipt? Hey! <laughs> wow. No respect. Now I, I know how Rodney too. Dangerfield feels. Okay, so that is three, four, eight, nine, uh, nine Are cents. You serious? Plus fame yeah. is minus one. Which so matter. nine, which. Oh, that's 11. You can still get that one. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'll take that. So that's going to cost me seven, really. Well. And it doesn't matter because I'm not going to have anything else to buy. So what else? Look at my next five cards and discard yeah. them or put them back. I think I'll go ahead and do that just to see what I got coming up. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to trash all those. So I had like four of my starting wild ones. All right. Um, L-I-O-N. Lion. Lion. Should Simba? Uh, I don't like Lion King. I'll probably get the flack for that. Well, you know, Sophie's a Shih Tzu, and they're they're like the lion dogs. Uh, all she does is lie around. I guess you can call her that. She's a lion dog. <laughs> she just doesn't do anything. Um, so that's four cents. Um, let's take a D, because that's an attack card. All right, here's a short word. I'm not even using the common word. Arc. You know, like arc. an arc welder or a arc reactor. Okay, Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Mm, that's what you think. Uh, so five and gain a card costing up to four, so I can do that first. Uh, I'm going to take this in G uh, for my C, and then I've got five to spend. Uh, I think I'm going to take that uh, B. Ooh, double the Scorpion Jason card. My trash card from hand. 
I'm gonna take the B. Oh, T I R E S tires. So Did you play one, that two, word already? Three, four. Yeah, I got a handful of starters. I don't know what else to do. So that was four cents. So let's take the S T. Well, wow, this really isn't that great of a word, but mid. mid. Um, yeah, that's, eh. yeah. I mean, you get five cents. And it says I can trash two available, non fame. And you get one card do extra. Next I do. Hand. I will get an extra card, so I'm going to do that. So that does give me five. Um, you yeah, know, I think I'll take that one. The Y? Go with the you want to have a risk with the Y? You know what? I think I'm going to take the S. Yeah, I was going to say that's a bit better. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay. And I'll draw six cards this time. Yeah. Um and go P I N T pint. Pint. Like go down to the pub and get a pint. Which pub which pub would you go to and get a pint? Rosen Crown. Would you? Well I mean theirs is a traditional like pub. Raglan Road isn't necessarily I was thinking more it's not typically a pub. In the world of fiction. I'd what go, the Winchester? I'd go to the Winchester, Winchester. and get a pint. <laughs> Wait for it to all blow over. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's Shaun a uh, Shaun of the, of the Dead reference. Uh, that's four cents, though. I love that movie. It's funny. It still kind of freaks me out because I don't like zombies. Um. Well, let's try the C H. Let's play around with that and see if I can do anything. Well, let's go with M A T T I N G S Mattings. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will get that. Can you take comfort. the eight one as well? <laughs> the eight one is an O and slide that down there. Uh, at least we have a different letter to play with now. So I am going to get another card uh, again next hand. So that's why I was able to play six. Uh, I can look at the top five. So let's go ahead and do that first. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm going to trash those. Okay. I keep getting all those starting <laughs> wild ones. Well, at least you can trash them before you have to play with them, I guess. So, let's see. It's not good for me, but it's good for you. Let's go two, four. I had five, eight, nine. So, I think with nine. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get Take that, that one for nine. So, that was eight. And so, I'll draw six cards. Okay. Let's do... Go S T O R I E S stories, which is kind of appropriate for this. Yeah, considering the the author of these novels is Paige Turner. Mhm. Mm so that's um. Now I have seven letters, but <laughs> that doesn't do me any good. But it's one four four percent. That's all it gets me. Um. I guess. Yeah, let's just go with this. We'll go with gong. Gong. Like, get it on. Bang a gong. Get it on. Yeah, so like that's that four. This is um, a musical episode. It is. A lot of good eight, 80s music. I, I think I'm just going to take this T for three. Uh, and that's going to be it. S T O O P. Stoop. Stoop. I can't believe you stooped to that level. Wow. But I'm bumped. That was that was just bad. Um, so three, four, five, six. We think I can get a higher card. Um let's take the F. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna go with Cobbs. You know, like corn on the cobs. On the cobs. On the cobs. So let's see. Gain a card costing up to four. Um, this you know what? I'm gonna take this three or this S. The three. It's a three center. And then it's a I three got, center. It's a three center. Center. Cent. So two, three, six, seven. And I don't have a wild one in my hand. I mean I could have had a um, so, one, seven, double word score, trash after use. 
You know, I'm going to... Oh, that's 10 cents. I only have 7 cents. I can only go up to there. Gain a card, cost enough to forward. You know, I'm going to... I'm going to take the K. Okay. You try it. I'm going to try it. I'm trying to precise. See how it fits. Okay. T-O-E-S. Toes. Um, one, two, three, four. Doesn't really do me any good. Let's take the IT. And it says I can tr trash a card. Wouldn't have gained me really anything else, so that's fine. I need to thin some cards out of my deck. I, I got like too many cards. Well, yeah, that's not much to work with, so I just got. So five. I can look at the top five of my cards, so I'm gonna do that. I'm on the internet too much because I looked at that and just thought Game of Thrones. That's oh gee was Like, because that's just how people think, oh, it's got. And I'm like, oh yeah. I think I'm gonna keep, I'm actually gonna keep those top five. Okay. And I'm gonna put them back. That's a little concerning. So. You're not discarding them. I'm, I'm going to take the Y. You just, are? Yeah. Well, there's another Y. You can have it again. Um, let's do C. Or, yeah. S-C-H. There we go. O-O-L. Like, uh... School. In which school would that be? Which one? Would it be Coal Hill? Coal Hill. You have that one. Well, we had to get our Doctor Who reference Yeah. In. Coal Hill. Um, so that's one, four, five, six. Woohoo! Some higher points here. Take the G. We'll move that one down. Gabby, do you know what university he works at now? No. St. Luke's. Saint it's Luke. in Bristol. Bristol. It's not real, though. Do they do the Bristol so. Stomp there? I don't know what that is, but it's not a real school because I looked it up. <laughs> you don't really have any good first uh, Yeah, there. so I'm just going to do this. Toad. Toad? Yeah. Toad? Yeah. You know, I'm going to take this Y just because it's an attack card. Okay. So, don't know if it's going to do me any good or not. Alright, um, I don't really have any good ones either. So, the T-O-N, that's exciting. Ton. It weighs a ton. It weighs a ton. So, it's three cents. Um, I think I'll take an E. I don't really want those double letters. Here we go. Bomb. You know, like a box office bomb. Box what do you office think will be the, the biggest bomb at the box office this year? Well, it was Passengers earlier this year. Unfortunately, because that actually looked it good. It looked good, but it didn't get very good reviews. So I'm going to get an extra card next hand, and I can trash a card from my hand. If I do, I gain a card worth one cent more. Um, I'm actually going to trash this AR. It's worth four, so I'm going to actually gain a card worth five. So... I think I'll go ahead and I'm gonna take you know I'm gonna take that in. So that's my kind of like my free card there. So I have four, five, six to buy. I'm gonna buy that W. Okay. Because you know, you never know when you might need a W. And then I'll see. So I get I get six cards this time. Yeah. So T O R R I D Torrid. It's a word. So one, two, three, four, five cents. Um, let's take a B. And this is an attack card, so negative one cent for each wild in the word. I'll just leave that up there so you know. Yeah, the attack cards you actually do uh leave in play until yeah. your next turn. Let's see. I know you, you guys can't see that on camera, but it's it's there. So right there. Uh, minus one for each wild, and I got quite a few wild ones in my hand. I no, I can't spell that. a word without using a wild. So nose, nose. the nose, nose. Yeah. So if a word is seven letters or longer, gain three cents, which it is not. Um, but if this is the last card. Uh, in the letter or last letter in the in the word, I get plus one card next hand, and I'm going to lose a cent because of the attack. So yeah. four, five, six is all I'm going to get. I think I'll take this D. Okay. And 
That's all she wrote. draw an extra card. Draw six cards. Yeah. yeah. Use the common card. I'm gonna go S T A G Stag. So okay. that's one, two, so five. So you can trash a card in your hand to gain a cent. Uh, it's not gonna do me any good. So I'll just keep it. So that's what? Five cents? Five cents. I'll take that. In. Uh, you may make an adjacent card wild if it's still, and it still scores wild. Yeah. It's, I guess if yeah. we really needed it, but yeah. it's already wild, so it's fine. Okay. We go C O I L E D. Coiled. That's good. So I gain a card costing up to four. Oh, wow. That's I'll, nice. I'll take that M okay. for that. And then th that one is I can trash two cards. Oh, that's trashing cards. I don't Available need to trash any of those. Non same cards. Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, man. I think I'll take the... I'll take that H. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Let's do L-O-N-E, loan. So that's four. Oh, I don't know. I'll take an E and I'll take an A. And I gotta trash this E. Okay. So let's go F O I L S. Foils. Foils. And I is get. Is this a math game now? Because that's a math anagram. Why is it a math anagram? I don't know. We had a foil of a thing. No. Like your first outside, inside, last when you were doing parentheses. Oh. Yeah. That's confusing. That's part of that new math. Yeah, math is it's, hard. It's not good. Math. But I'm going to get plus one per while to my word. So that's actually going to generate one for me. So let's just start here. Our fame cards cost minus one. So I'm going to generate four, five, six, seven, eight. So even if I had seven, I could take this. But that is actually going to trigger the end oh. of the game. Since we okay, have then. now emptied those Two cards. Those decks, yeah. So let's tally up our points and see who the victor is. <laughs> Okay, so dad 34, mm -hmm. daughter 21. 21. Um, which our games have been fairly close. Yeah. And we played one. If you guys follow our Facebook page, <laughs> the very first game I taught Megan, she blew my doors off. Yeah. It was like 50, 50 like something to something. like 20 something. Yeah. Uh, couldn't believe it. And that was because you got a letter that constantly doubled your score. Yeah. Uh, I think it was the uh, green age. I was just able to play cards a bit better, I think, on that game. Like what was shuffled up in the, like the by row, I guess. You know, the ironic thing is I got all of the seven the, fame points and four. you got all the fours. Um, but we only got one common card and I, I screwed That's up at the beginning. I know I should have taken that earlier. It, yeah. That helped because then I could have been playing. I guess I just couldn't get anything with the I. But like other games, we've had A's and E's, which are a little bit easier to fill in, I think. Yeah, and we'll talk about that in review, which let's get to what we think. Okay, since you went first to start the game and I won, I think I'll go first That's fine. with the review. I'll let you. Uh, I really like this game. It's a very unique deck builder. Uh, you know, if you like Words with Friends, you like Scrabble, this is definitely going to be a game for you. Uh, I personally like deck builders. I like the uniqueness of this. I like, uh, you know, you do have to kind of think. You know, you don't really have downtime mm -hmm. when it's not your turn because you're constantly thinking, what word can I make with these cards I got in my hand? Yep. Um, so I really love the gameplay. You know, the, the artwork on the letters are very simplistic. Uh, you know, it's just the color and the letter. 
uh, the text on the cards is nice and big and very easy to read. And I love the artwork on these fame cards. Uh, they are awesome. In fact, one of my favorite is this one here that I didn't actually get to buy. Um, but these are all so cool. I mean, the you know, I mentioned during the game, you know, you've got Paige Turner is the, uh, the author of these cards. But here, you know, you've got the Devil's Bride. Uh, and, you know, the everything on this, you know, I just think looks really cool. Um, and then so are the other cards, you know, Dead Planet. You know, they all kind of have that, uh, the vintage. Way, like, yeah, the vintage look to them. You know, Land at a Time, you know, that's really cool. I kind of like that one. It's cool. And there's other, I mean, we didn't even play all the, with all the cards. Yeah, and that was really They come with neat. different variations, so we kind of just pick out different ones to play with each time. So, yeah, and the card stock, I think, is, is really good. Um, see the back of the cards there, but... You know, they're nice and sturdy. Uh, I, I am, have noticed, you know, some of these cards are actually starting to get a, a little bit nicked, but this game is well played. Mm -hmm. uh, Megan and I have played this game quite a bit. Yeah, uh, I've played a lot with the guys at work. Yeah, we've played this at lunchtime too, because it can play pretty fast. Now, the more players you add, obviously, the more time it's going to take. You have a bit more time to think a bit. <laughs> but as a two-player game, I think, you know, it's kind of a rapid back and forth. You almost don't have enough time between turns to be thinking about what that it word depends, is. Yeah. Unless something's jumping right out at you. Yeah. But uh, no, Megan, what do you think? Um, pretty much the same reasons that you do. I'm not good at words with friends or anything like that. So this is kind of just a little bit trickier for me because it's kind of harder for me sometimes to visualize, but it's still, you know, it's simple enough where like you can get it and at least make some small words. Like you might not be able to get all those points, but you can get something going. I think that was part of my problem was I didn't have big enough words, so I was kind of stuck on the lower half of the biro. Well, and the fact that, you know, you shuffle these up yeah. and you don't know what's coming out. Well, there's a lot of cards here. I mean, it doesn't really look like it, but there's enough. So, you but know, when you're not buying them, you're, gonna you're kind have, of stuck. Yeah, your games are going to be different. I mean, mm -hmm. it is, you know, draw cards, you know, play them. It, it, it's repetitive. Yeah. But that's every deck builder is like mm -hmm. that. Uh, but you have the variability, you know, just like all the other deck builders that come up that are going to be, you know, what are you going to have to to buy from in order to make yeah. words? Well, and I like there's different variants in the box, too. We just kind of played with, like, the basic one. But there's, like, different um, abilities here. Yeah, so if you get bored with uh, with just this, mm -hmm. tons of things that you can do to yeah, kind of spice a things up a little bit. Yeah, different things in here. So there's, like, you know, reverse two-letter card, like, some other things. There's, like, a different type of... Themes, I guess, here. Got to like, make the words, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what those are. Yeah, I haven't actually looked into that, but there's a lot of these different things that you can really spice the game up. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah. And then, uh, the, you know, the packaging that this comes in, it's the same size box as... Burgle Brothers. Burgle Brothers, if you're familiar with that. We've already done a show on that. But, uh, you know, you've got these dividers. So each of the letters has their own mm -hmm. divider. So that is a really cool feature. And they come with the phone. Yeah, the phone comes cool. in there, so everything is fits, really fits well. great. It's not going to slide around at all. And you also have the cheat sheet on that card as well, so you don't always have to consult the rule book, so that's pretty handy. So you can figure out exactly how many of those wild cards you need to put out. Yeah, and this is you know the, a, a very similar game uh, that Tim Powers is coming out. It's called Hardback. Uh, really looking forward to checking that out, too, because mm -hmm. I think it takes, it takes this game and puts a spin on it. So really looking forward to how that's going to go there is also a way and i have not looked at this before uh but you can do a co-op uh so that looks really cool too so tons of different ways to play this uh, a lot of replayability because of that mm -hmm. um i think it's accessible to oh, yeah. to most people now you know this is going to be a, a game i think it's going to be better for at least probably high school maybe yeah. middle school i probably wouldn't go much lower unless than that. they're really smart yeah because you know coming I mean, up not with to knock people's you know ability to make words but it does take a little bit more time to like you know kind of think up some stuff yeah and you know you've got like megan said the wheel of fortune starters is, with the yeah. five wild cards so you're starting off you're not going to have a lot mm -hmm. of uh different words that you're going to be able to create but you know you're building your deck just like anything else and trying to get your it engine time, going yeah the one thing i didn't do this game that i have done more in the past is thin my deck out so i can get those yeah. starter ones out you know get i i like to get the the starting cards out especially once i've replaced them with the cards out here but just uh, the starting letters because you want to keep those just even for well no I, I like to get rid of these too See, I don't. it is getting help. rid of a point 
uh, and you do need wild cards, but once I start buying enough of these, you know, th these clog my deck up more. Well, and they're not worth anything, too, when you start playing them. They're just zeros. No. They don't have that point value to help you get some other cards. And, and one point in the grand scheme of things probably isn't that great. But, no. you know, if you if that's how you like to play, I can't criticize you because <laughs> you kicked my butt before. Yeah. And you didn't trash any cards, so. But we're pretty much 50-50 um, on winning. It just depends on kind of, like, when we sit down to play. Yeah, and I think some of the words we come up with is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. You know, words that aren't necessarily in our vocabulary, no. you know, all the time, but, you know, it, but it's fun. Yeah. You know, we have, we've enjoyed playing this against each other. Uh, I really like this as a two-player game. Mm -hmm. I've played it with three, four, and five players, so I've played it with all player counts, and I really like this best with two because it keeps the game going bang, 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 you know, back and forth. So I really like that. Anything else, Megan? No, that's it. All right. So that is paperback. Check back with us. We hope to be doing a show on hardback. I know it's not out yet, but uh, when it comes out, we hope we uh, we have that and, do, and can do a show for you. Yeah. So uh, we will catch you guys next time. Bye. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.